Well, welcome back to Serving Up the Tea. My name's Lars Melly, and I'm here with my friend... Michael Tomasetti. There you go. Whoa. You said your own name. I said oh my, my own God. name. He don't I'm need a no, big boy. He don't need no one to say his name. <laughs> so I was telling Michael about a very funny thing that happened about a year or two ago in which a tennis commentator got way too excited about Dominic Team's butt, which honestly I don't think you can get too excited about but also the funny thing for me was like it's a straight male commentator right, commenting on another straight guys yes he, butt, he is straight right? he's dating so it's like two, like two straight guys appreciating like and it's wonderful male ass, if only like, everyone could just be so comfortable with themselves that right. they could do that sure needless to say one thing that came out of it it got a lot of coverage is actually like you need to have a strong butt to be a good tennis player and in general i have found since i have once injured my back mm -hmm. that having a very strong butt has strengthened my back and allowed me to become thinner and live a healthier happier life thanks but so lars would you say that playing tennis a prerequisite is having a power bottom oh shit. Cut. Yes, I feel stupid. That is not what I sound like. And for your information, I am. Oh. <laughs> that was really hard to come out of your mouth. I like, am... you almost did. First time. First time. Do you have a tissue or something? Help. Like, like, uh, Help. Let me hug my rainbow pillow for a second. Asthmatic or Jesus something? Jesus okay. Christ. Um, yeah, no, anyway. But. But. You, you but. But you showed me the photos, and I have to say, I mean, it's like... He has a very impressive tuchus. Damn. And it is, yeah. like, one thing that I would like to do is um, I have a, a coach, and I have a physio, and my physio to told me, like, dude, you need to, like, strengthen your butt more, yeah. to be honest with you, um, since I was starting to injure myself a bit more, playing more competitively. Sure. And um, I have developed essentially, like, the Jane Fonda 101 tennis aerobics yeah. butt strength thing right. this is a long ass title he wasn't you like make... you need like a, a fat ass like yeah. you need a hot I wish I yeah. wish right yeah. okay. I will say it has translated into some Instagram photos photo 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 some um, calendars maybe yeah yeah you know, I mean you, yeah. you remember my gold finger photo I do it has helped me in other ways but this is about the people at home and uh -huh. wanting to get a stronger butt. Right. So let's go on upstairs. And we've got, these aren't just cool little accessories. No. We're going to put these to We're going to put these on our use. legs. Yeah. And we're going to work We're going to work out. our butts the f*** out. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. I was on Comicetti that I wanted to show my top five butt exercises to get you in top and or bottom or bottom condition. Yeah. There yeah. you go. We've got our bands. Our bands. Let's put them to good use. Let's do it. Let's, let's work our booties. Yes, let's do let's it. Go. Here we go. Okay. So we slip it on. First thing you need to do is slip it on. Slip it on. First time I thought it was like you're supposed to put it like right over up or whatever. No, no, no. It's like literally right, right over right your right knees, just like yeah. this. Squat, obviously, mm -hmm. or you can do a weighted squat. Sure. So squat requires a flat back. I typically do some sort of like Dragon Ball Z holding my hands like this. <laughs> Just go down to one. And then what you really want to do is, I'm going to go very slow for this, because you want to get 90 degrees with your legs. You want to flat back. Okay. And then when you come up, you're kind of doing like a little bit of a salt and pepper for us. Okay. Yeah. So it's like, dang. And then you do that 10 times. 10 times. You're just like dropping it low. Essentially, that's what you're doing. Yeah. But like, that, it's going to work for glute mead. So it's going to work underneath, right here. Right. So that's exercise number one. That's number one. So, so let's go ahead and do that a few more times. Okay, I'm gonna do that for text. Cool. Right, so you're gonna do that ten times and you do it three times. Three sets of ten. Three sets of ten. Okay, then the next one we're gonna need to get our mask for. Okay. So then for this one, what you're going to need to do is it's um, a two-legged pelvic thrust, which is easier than the one-legged. Okay. Onto your back like this. Okay. And then I'm going to do the first one, you watch me. Okay. And then I'm going to have you turn sideways and sure. point to what's working. This one's very simple. Make sure your head is back. Mm -hmm. Your uh, lower back should be on the ground. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to thrust upwards and squeeze when you're at the top. Got it. So up and squeeze. Up mm -hmm. and squeeze. 
and then up and squeeze. And you do that 20 times. 20 times. So now, is that, that one set of 20 bars, or is that? You're gonna do just one set of 20 one three set times. Of 20 three times, okay. Thrusting up. Right, and you wanna really make sure that you're, like, you, you hold it at the top and you okay. squeeze. Because when you squeeze, you should feel it right in the glute meat. Sure. Where should I be looking? Should I be like, should you be giving eye contact? At- so one thing my physio said is that I should do this um, at the start of a match and stare my opponent directly in the eyes. Just literally, exactly like that. And then me, them. Exactly, just like that. There you go. Come on, bring it on. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> okay. Ready? One. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, okay. nineteen, twenty. <laughs> Is one that is purely for the side butt. Side so butt. We're getting the back butt. You don't hear enough about the side butt. You don't. You know? They feel like it deserves more love and attention. It's and like a that's... side dish. Like, it's like the guacamole, you know? It's like mm-hmm. you, got, you want good guac, right? You don't just want like good meat or, or uh, rice or beef. Who doesn't want good guac? You want good guac. So this is this is the guac that I And this guac is an extra. Ooh, Ooh, right? yeah, oh, there you go. So you want to make sure that you are on your side. I tend to have my arm kind of like this, just hanging out, just if I was to be like Christina Milian. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. And so my feet should be lined up with my tuchus, okay. like this. And a clam is called a clam because you kind of open the clam mouth with okay. it. Okay. And the resistance band, you're going to really feel it at the side. Okay. So you do this 10 times. Mm-hmm. And then on the 10th one, that's 7, I think, if I know math. 8. eight. eight. Nine. Nine. And then you hold it for a full minute, okay. like this. Also, stare your opponent directly in the eyes while you're doing it. <laughs> and one thing with this one that's important to note is that your body's going to naturally relax a bit. Do not relax. Mm-hmm. There's no relaxation in tennis or in butt workouts. <laughs> and so it's like this for a full minute. Great. And then you flip over and you do the other side. So do you want to do the other side? Yeah. So you want your Something hips stacked on each other. Hips stacked, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So it's like this, where you're square, your feet are mm-hmm. uh, Measure that you're with butt. butt, exactly. Feet to butt ratio, that's what yeah. you want. And then arm just sort of like this, and then you're just kind of open. And you want to go as far as you can up, okay. because you're naturally going to relax. There we go. So it's so it's all about just this. here. <laughs> and then you can see it's kind of like a clam that's yeah. talking. Yeah. Feed me. <laughs> it's, <laughs> not, it's the hungry clam. It's, it's the hungry clam. clam. It's a bee. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. And now you're going to hold. Okay, and then we just hold. Literally just like that. And you will feel it. I mean, initially you're like, oh yeah, no, I got this. But 60 seconds lasts a long time. Right. And one thing that you should always do is tap the part of the body you're trying to activate. Okay. So just kind of like play the drums on yeah. your side butt. Did you ever play the drums? Uh, I never played the drums. Mm-hmm. Well, I can play the drums right now. You can play the bongos. You, Lars, you played me. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Okay. We're going to step it up a notch for the last two. We're at the final two right this now. This is number four. This right? is number four. Yeah. Meaning that there is one more after this. One more. Yeah. Meaning Counting. there's two left. <laughs> Counting! This is the one-legged pelvic thrust. Ah, yes. So we did two legs. Okay. More men. Yes. Now it's one okay. leg. One leg. So legs. I want you to watch me for the first yes. one. Because okay. what's interesting is that sometimes people just like leave their leg out. Your leg should kind of be pointed and out a bit. It can be out a little bit this way if you want, not too much. This Your hand should be down, but okay. make sure that you're not like pushing. It yeah. should all that's come from your core and your butt. Okay. And you're going to just thrust upwards mm-hmm. and leave your leg pointed. Right. Just like that. Yeah. For 15 times. And it looks like an easy move. It like is re- very re- difficult. Feel. Yeah. And because you're like literally targeting just one of the two butts. Right. It's the butt that's the leg that's down, you're targeting that butt. So you're just, just yeah. Just, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, I don't always make these noises. Right. right. Um, but it helps. Um, it does help. So you do that 15 times. And you can see not only is the butt engaged, but you also have like the thigh and the leg engaged. Okay. Switch legs with me. So I have this one up, so we're going to do this one. And three, two, and one. Yeah, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I am sweating a bit. You can work up a sweat. Hey, Jack, what's up? Hey, Jack, what's up? Hey, number five and this is for me to show you tabletop right okay so what's important is that you're not mighty right right you have a flat back right as mm -hmm. much as you want to like you know literally twerk, twerk, twerk right. it you're not twerking it right now um let me make sure i can really show what's working um okay cool so your shoulders should be staked uh, over your arms like this, right. so they're not in front, they're not behind. Okay. It's perfect tabletop. It's a strong stance. Exactly, it's a strong stance because what we're going to be doing is this kind of subtle motion that works both the front and the side leg. Mm -hmm. It's called a fire hydrant. I hear a dog taking a bee. There we go. And you're going to hold it for one minute and you just hold it for your life. You can see your life. Yeah, there you go. That feels like a rock. Kind of. Right. Yeah. <laughs> And this is like rotation tennis, so it's so major mm -hmm. that this is a very important one to do. Yeah. I hate this, like this one hurts the most to be honest with you. So I do I do it the least that I need to do it. And then what I would do is I would shift your hips a bit. Okay. So you want to make sure that you're not like to your side. You're not leaning to the yeah, side. Exactly. Like apron, yeah, exactly. And so I'm gonna take them off and then you would hold that. You should also probably feel your core engage here right. too a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna do more days. Great. Yeah, How long do you hold it for? You hold it for a full minute. For a full minute. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Ready? Great. It's also tough to talk while you do this. <laughs> <laughs> Great. He's in the child's pose, because that's what he needs. Um, how does your butt feel? My butt feels activated. It feels activated. It feels like perky. You right. Know? Yeah. You can do an accelerated version of this if you were to play a match. I okay. think I mentioned my physio tells me to definitely do the two-legged pelvic thrust and then do the clamps before I play to activate like holistically like 360 because the clamps will hit the side wow. and then the two-legged pelvic thrust will get like it's almost like a warm up that you're doing before essentially. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then for my Goldfinger photo, I did these four times a week for a month and I added some weight to them and that's what got my photo to be. Yeah. Like my photo. So that was not the photo was not Photoshop. It was not Photoshop at all. Okay, cool. So now that you've done your butt workouts where you've played your tennis match, you definitely need to make sure you stretch out like this part of the body as well. It's super fundamental, super crucial. So I'm gonna have Michael help me. I'm gonna show him a few. He's gonna do some come on down, Vanna. Yeah, yeah. Oh, why? Yes. I'm so shy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> See, all you need is a ball and a wall. A ball and a wall. A ball and a wall is all you uh -huh. need. And my straight personal trainer calls these exercises single ready to mingle because Ooh. You're gonna do these at the gym, you're gonna get attention. You're gonna get some attention. <laughs> They're actually like, really important to do. I do them after every match and they actually really help me recover. Uh -huh. You have your ball. Yes. You have your ball. I've got the ball. Sit on your ball. We've got the boy. Right, <laughs> there you go. Ooh. Oh shit. What can I say? I just naturally knock my legs out. And so the first one's gonna stretch your hamstrings. So three, <laughs> two, two, and one. one. And then you're going to literally oh, sink on into so it. So quick and impressive. And so essentially you just have your legs against the wall and you sink on into it the best you can. And I like to grab the toes and pull down because then you can also stretch the calves out. Sure. Just like that. I would hold it between like about 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do it accelerated now. From this one, what I like to do is then do something called a holy oyster. Mm -hmm. Where essentially I put my feet together, it's like also a butterfly. I'm <laughs> sensing like, yeah, like under the sea, you know, clams and oysters. Yeah, then you know what? Just call me Ariel. So this is working the groin area for sure. So we're gonna do it like this. And then the next one would be you go to the first position and then put your hands down. And you're gonna zoom out a bit. And then my straight personal trainer literally taught me that you should actually bounce a little bit <laughs> with this one because it just allows for like more of a dynamic stretch. Mm -hmm. But you're also gonna hold it, and then you're gonna high pitch whine. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. oh 
I'm just kidding. You just want to tap where that's working, which is just your <laughs> Great. Hi, Mom. Um, the last one you're going to do is less sexy, but you have your flat foot against the wall, and this is called a pigeon stretch. Don't ask me why. Not under the sea. Right. Wasn't there yeah. a pigeon, though, in The Little Mermaid? Uh, there's like a seagull. Seagull. Okay. seagull. This is for the hip flexor. It's for actually the TFL. You put your hands down for this one. This ball sinks really low, unlike the balls that are jammed. Yeah. Um, it's usually not the way. It's usually like not this low, yeah. but like we're working with right. it. Um, and essentially, you just sink on into it like this. Mm -hmm. And you hold it, and then you switch mm -hmm. to the other side. And that side is tight. Yeah, more yeah. tighter than the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, most people are dominant on one side. Yeah. So it's important just to, like, hold it for how long you need to hold it. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try? Sure. This. Yes, Ooh. exactly. Whoa. If you can't reach your My toesies, toes. I'm going to help you. Okay. And I'm going to reach your toesies for you. Okay. And, and then, then you just, just hang out. That's why, that's what gym buddies are for. Do you feel it in your calf? I really, yeah, I really do. I feel it here. Cool. And also a little bit here. Like, okay, so the oyster was like down. It's essentially a butterfly on its side. Ooh. Um, great. And if you can possibly like just push on the, like that. Yeah. Great. I'm so happy that we're making an only fan yeah. you right now. You don't want to work out alone. Like most you don't, times, right? You it's don't so lonely. Like, yeah, it gets lonely. And then sometimes the gym gets to be a scary place. It really can be. It can be. Yeah. The third one, you're gonna go back to the original, or just go right just into go it. Right into it. Just right dive on <laughs> in. <laughs> Rock right. Oh, exactly. Wow. Yeah. Um, that's that's it. Yeah. That's that's what it is. So that's your adductor. Okay. Sure. Um, so stretching that. Right? And that's really tight. Yeah. And I can tell because you can't fully like, you see how it's standard, fully, yeah. Exactly. And that's fine. I have done it enough. Yeah. Right. But so I definitely make sure you are. include it in part of your routine. You're gonna back up a bit. Okay. And these were the T and these are the pigeon. pigeon. So you're gonna the pigeon. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So flat foot okay. and you fold your leg. I have long legs, so let me go back just a little Good bit more. Good yes. And then here we go. Right. And then you're gonna like lean. You're gonna like allow your, your butt to roll forward a bit okay. more. Like you feel that? I do. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Ooh, that's great. Also very tight. Yeah, exactly. This yeah. is so tight. <laughs> so tight. So you are good to go. Thanks, Lars. Absolutely. Really good. So you should do like the butt stuff first, and this is how you end it. Right? Always like, do the butt stuff do butt first. Stuff first. <laughs> do your butt workout. That's how you should cool down. Okay. The only other thing that I would say in regards to a tennis stretch that would be good, mm -hmm. which is necessarily buff up its mid back and with the rotation that makes sense. Okay. Is let's go ahead and take our mat. There's one more bonus one more. stretch. Oh. So this one you're going to be tabletop again, and then this is called threading the needle, and you're going to breathe in and then breathe out. Thread the needle. Like that, and it gets your lats. <sighs> and so when you serve, you can really like yeah. get your lats kind of. It's almost like soothing and calming your It's like a yoga like stretch. Yoga, where you just, yes, yeah. right? Yeah. Boom, right on in. And so what he's stretching is the lat right here. Yeah. And um, you feel the stretch. I do. And then you breathe in, and then you breathe out. Yeah, it feels very relaxing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So nice way to end the Right, and if you want to see more videos, subscribe to our channel. It's $9.99 a month. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, Lars, I don't know if my forearms are ready for a tennis career, but my butt definitely is after that workout. Right, you're going to have dominant team's butt in no time. Mm. And you at home, tell me what was your favorite exercise of the ones that we did? What was the toughest? Yeah. Which one are you angry at me for? Which one do you want to DM me for? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. In all seriousness. A strong butt makes a healthy person. Mm -hmm. So very important, guys, at home to try it. Just try it. Just yeah. try it. Any local store has a resistance band. Let me this for five dollars. Five bucks. Five, yeah, five, five, bucks. Bucks. five bucks. Any PT by you will okay. sell these. Any fitness store, gyms will probably gyms. sell them too. Sure. Amazon. Okay. Um, local mom and pop gyms. Sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? So get a resistance band. It's mm -hmm. so easy to do. And right. Like Laura said, start with the butt. Right. And, and then it's, it's going to strengthen everything else yeah. and it's going to change your life. Uh-huh. See you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>